It's something no parent is ever prepared for, saying goodbye to a sick child while trying to make the child's last moments as comforting and dignified as possible. Hundreds of Bay Area families have been helped through that difficult experience by a unique Bay Area Children's Hospice. But the hospice itself is now in desperate need of help. It's a story you'll see only on 7. Like an ordinary kid, seven-year-old Taryn Hooser smiles at the sight of a bunny. But extraordinary pain is all that the Pittsburgh boy has ever known. When he was three months old, he contracted pneumococcal meningitis. The bacteria quickly started shutting down his brain. It will eventually fail, just a matter of time. We, along with planning a birthday party, are planning our son's death. But until that day, Taryn and other children who are dying are finding comfort in George Mark Children's House in San Leandro. It's the nation's first freestanding pediatric hospice. Its unique mission is to relieve the suffering of the children and their families through medical, emotional, and logistical support. When you walked in the front door, it would feel like a safe haven, like you were coming to somebody's home. The children are greeted by piano music played by loving volunteers, cheerfully painted bedrooms where all medical equipment is hidden behind the wall. Some suites can accommodate entire families. There's a soothing sensory room where they can relax and an art room where they and their siblings can focus their energy. But the hands-down favorite of four-year-old Austin Rustrum is the therapeutic spa. His mother Stacy says in here, Austin feels joy instead of pain. He was born missing some brain tissue, a complication from being a twin. Caring for him is a 24-7 commitment. Stacy says George Mark's respite care allows her to be a mom to her two other children. It's kind of nice that he can come here and we can go do a few things with our other kids um, so they don't feel so left out of our family. The families say they don't worry when the kids are here, thanks to a team of doctors, nurses, and volunteers. There's also counseling, and when the time comes the opportunity to grieve. Parents make tiles to remember their kids, and the staff carves the children's names into stones surrounding an eternal fountain. But this place and everything it offers may be going away. Many of George Mark's donors have cut back on their financial contribution in this difficult economy. And without a major influx of new funding, this hospice may have to shut its doors in as little as two months. Dr. Hull's family provided the seed money to build the place five years ago as a memorial to her two brothers who died young, George and Mark. No one is turned away because they can't pay, and operating costs are half a million dollars a month. Even though Alameda County is essentially providing the land for free, the hospice itself may be running out of time. Taryn's mom says she just can't imagine not being here when her son finally says goodbye. You want to be surrounded by people who who love you, who care about you, who can support you, who have been on the journey with you. And uh, George Mark has been on the journey with us through everything. George Mark Children's House receives no federal funding and minimal state and insurance money. It's almost completely sustained by donors. If you'd like to help out, just go to our website. We have a link to their site. And what impressed me when I was there was that despite the tragic situations mm -hmm. that they're dealing with there, you walk in and you feel such a sense of hope and love and life there for the Must children. Must have been a very difficult story to do. Yeah. Yeah. And I hope they will get some help. Well, um, very well done.